everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to show you what is inside my son's diaper slash emergency bag so just to give you a quick backstory my son was born a year ago he just turned one in April he has a trach which if you don't know it's an artificial airway and because of uh, his medical condition and having the trach and needing to be on the ventilator we have a lot of extra supplies that we have to take with us everywhere we go so we got his diagnosis at five weeks old and when he was six weeks is when he got his tracheostomy and at that point i really started to do a lot of research to try to see what i could expect when we brought him home and in the hospital you talk endlessly about uh, what could go wrong <laughs> emergency situations what to do in case of this but there's not a whole lot of talk about the actual logistics of what it looks like to leave your house and take your child anywhere um, and when, when you first get home from the hospital you have endless doctor's appointments so we we're going to the doctor constantly the first time that we left the house was a complete stressful chaotic experience we did not know what to expect and immediately we decided something had to change because it was just way too stressful so Initially, we had a separate diaper bag and then an emergency bag. And the easiest thing for me to do right away was just to combine the two. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I hope that if you are in the situation of becoming a new trick parent, that this will give you a little bit of peace of mind. It is okay, it's just a matter of finding new ways of doing things and <laughs> new systems for everything. Okay, just a real quick disclaimer before I get started. This is just based off of my personal experience and what I have learned having a son who is vent dependent during sleep with a trach. Um, if you have any questions related to your specific child, please consult their professional team. Things can definitely vary from child to child. So just know that this is just my personal experience. Okay, so here is our diaper bag, and we wanted a backpack. Um, we purchased this actually when I was pregnant, so this is the original backpack that we had. We didn't get a special backpack when things changed. This is by Bag Nation. I believe the original price is about $80. Uh, we definitely bought it when it was on sale, so just kind of keep your eye out for coupons and things. It is off of Amazon. Um, so I'll try to put maybe a link down below if I can find it if you're interested I really liked it because it had a lot of compartments and so I thought that would be super easy to help keep things organized I also really like this bag because it has like this mesh Feature on the back to kind of be more cooling and then it also has these uh, buckles right here and they're on both sides. So you can actually strap this to your stroller handles, which is what we have done and found to be most easy if we're not wearing the backpack, just to like throw it on the handles of the stroller or the wagon, and it's one less thing to carry. Okay, so my first um, thought when it came to organizing the backpack and having emergency supplies in here was just to make sure that the emergency supplies were as easily accessible as possible. So everything emergency related, <laughs> is like in our big main zipper here so in the main pocket when you open it up there's a lot of space inside here so i'm gonna just start pulling things out of the backpack and telling you what's inside um so there is a really cool little zipper pocket right here which i actually don't have anything inside but this would be perfect if you have anything like special to go in there you could keep it separate so that is a nice feature Another nice thing about this bag is that it actually came with a changing mat. So just Velcro opens up right here and you have a nice little changing mat that you can lay down if you're having to do like a mobile diaper change. This is really nice too for trach parents because if in the event of an emergency you need to do a trach change and you have a second to lay them down on a clean surface, this is great to use for that. I'm just gonna take things out I'll put it back in after <laughs> so here is our ambu bag so if you have a child who um, has a trach you probably have an ambu bag um, depending on their medical needs but this is an absolute must anywhere we go we do always bring our son's vent with him because he does need that anytime he's sleeping but you want to have a manual version <laughs> because the vents are just a piece of machinery at the end of the day and they can break. Typically an Ambu bag has a mask which is still very important to carry even if your child has a trach. Be sure to have the little mask because in the event that something is um, blocking their trach you can always cover it 
and then give them breaths using their mouth. But what's really nice is that if you are not using the mouthpiece when you pop it off, this piece right here is universal. So no matter what the brand of trach, it'll attach to any patient's trach, which is really nice. And then here is like the part that you would squeeze. And then this, um, I have like the tube attached that we could connect to his oxygen if we needed to. Okay, next thing in our main pocket here is a extra vent circuit. The thing that makes me nervous about vent circuits is I have read stories about them breaking, like cracking, and that makes me really nervous because if there's a hole in here, obviously it's not giving air to your child. So I have an extra circuit just in case. Our neat next thing is an extra suction ballard. So basically when we were putting together our emergency bag, I thought it would be really important to have as many backup pieces as I could just in case. <laughs> so when we take him and we have his vent, he already has a suction ballard on there, but just in case you never know, I have an extra suction ballard. Okay, and then, um, one more thing that I have here is a manual suction kit. So this kit, I really, really like this kind specifically. So this is the Medline suction catheter kit. The reason I really like this one in particular is because it has a little bottle of sterile water with it. So it has the gloves, sterile water, and then the catheter. This is actually one that we got when we were in the hospital. Um, so I just kept it and put it in his emergency bag and I have like maybe two more that I still have it in his room. Um, but I really like these for travel because it does have that water with it just in case if we ever need sterile water for something. So next in our main bag, and probably one of the most important things if you have a child with a trach is to have your backup trachs. You always want to have their current size as a backup and then you want to have one size smaller. So I have the current size right here and then I have one size smaller right here. Now something that I've changed um, since being home with him and having like a little time to think through things is initially I just put the box of the trach in the backpack. Those trachs happen to be sterilized so it's okay in that sense. But in the event of an emergency <laughs> where you gotta get in that backpack, grab that trach and switch it out real quick, you don't wanna be opening the box, then opening the container that the trach is inside, and then attaching the tie to it. Like for me, that's just too many steps. So my idea was eliminate as many steps as possible. And so I have the trach right here. And then I also have attached the trach tie to one side of it. And this is already a sterile trach just inside a Ziploc baggie. On the bag, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but I wrote um, current trach and then the trach size 3.5 Neo and the length. So that is more important for like medical providers. So if for some reason um, a doctor were to see this, he would know what type of trait to get my son. And so that's very important. And then same with the size down, it's a sterile trach and then it has the trach tie already attached to one side. So in the event of an emergency, pull out your trach, pop out your son's first one, pop in the second one, you already have the tie, just wrap it around and tie it. And then there you go. So, um, <laughs> most important thing to have with you. Next, here's another thing that I have changed since bringing him home. So when we first brought him home and we were like getting all the supplies together, I wanted everything to be like as cute as possible. And um, I've thrown that out the window. So what I have realized is again, in the event of an emergency, which is the whole purpose of this bag, you want things to just be accessible quick. And the easiest way to have things accessible is to put them in see-through bags. So initially I had like really cute fabric bags that I had everything inside. But what happens with that is you have to literally open every bag to see what's inside and it just takes extra time. So what I have done instead now is split things up into individual little quart size Ziploc baggies. These quart size, I think I might have said too big. These kind of like a size bigger than a sandwich bag size baggies. <laughs> and they're great because they're clear so you can see exactly what's inside. And then I've also labeled the front with what it is because my thought is that if I'm ever with someone um, who isn't super familiar with the supplies, I can say, pull out the bag that says saline and they can pull it out or pull out the bag with the pink tubes in it. 
and it's pretty obvious what that is. So um, this is my saline slash HME bag. The next bag is right here, and this is kind of more of like the miscellaneous supplies. So I've got Q-tips, saline wipes, uh, two by two squares, gauze, gloves, and a trach tie in this bag right here. And then this uh, third bag is for his pulse ox. So um, he has a sensor that he wears on his foot and I'll tell you like his oxygen level and his heart rate. And so this is just an extra sensor, um, some tape, some of the tapes that go right here and then some of that like bandage wrap. So in case I ever run out of the tapes and I need something to secure his sensor, I can just use the bandage wrap. Sensors are typically kind of hard to come by. Uh, they're usually very limited with what insurance will provide for you. We just kind of had to skip a week and then put an extra in his emergency bag. Okay, one more thing in the bag is it comes with like this little stretchy keychain part and I've attached his oxygen key on here so I can um, just have it all in one place. This is probably the thing that I am losing the most and always having to like run back in the house and grab it. So now it is just attached to here. I know where it is and I can just grab it and use it pretty far um, without having to take it off the hook. Okay, last thing inside this main pocket, and it's not emergency supplies, it's just regular diaper supplies here. So I have an extra little outfit. I've got a pair of pants here, and I have an extra little shirt here. So just in case if they ever get ruined while we're out, I've got a backup. Um, something else that I have is just a little pair of socks. So we always seem to like lose a sock. So now we have little backups here. If you're having a hard time with the pulse ox reading and you're out in the sunlight, it probably is just because uh, you need to put a sock on. So just grab a dark pair of socks and that'll typically take care of the problem for you. And then we've got his little sunglasses in here. So cute. They're in his little case. Little baby sunglasses right here. All right, so that is the main pocket of the backpack. And I just wanna show you like the amount of space. Do you have two side pockets, a back pocket, a front pocket, and a zipper pocket all within the main part. And so there's a lot of space in this bag. Next portion is just gonna be this top zipper right here. In here, I have a little basic Johnson & Johnson first aid kit. Just got some Band-Aids, some cleaning wipes, and then a little bit of gauze. So um, this little American Cross first aid kit, if I'm not mistaken, I think this one came with the bag. I could be completely wrong, but I think it did. But anyways, it fits perfect in there. Um, it's got like a little medicine dropper. You have a thermometer, nail clipper, comb, and then the little bulb. So I just keep that in there. And then boogie wipes <laughs> are my best friend. Like, aside from diapers, wipes, and food are probably the thing that I have repurchased the most. I love them because they help with sticky faces, sticky hands. I can use them around his stoma, his trach area if I need to. Um, so that's why I get the unscented ones so that it's safe to use around his trach. They have been probably one of the most valuable things that I've purchased since having a baby. Up. All right, next pocket right here. This little little guy okay so in here really simple i just have a little thing of kleenex with the most important thing which is a positive message that says summon your strength okay so we've got some inspirational kleenex and then i have just a plastic grocery bag so i always just keep a plastic bag with me just in case if i ever have like trash that i need to throw in here or if you were to soil an outfit i could throw it in here so i always just keep a baggie with us just in case down here in this bottom portion it's really nice you have another zipper and then you have this like magnetic pocket right here so i actually don't have anything in the zipper portion um, but in this magnetic pocket i have some oxygen tubing so this oxygen tubing has a HME attached to it and then right here is where you connect it to the oxygen tank and then I have just another plain oxygen tubing and then we have an oxygen 
port that goes in line. This vent actually has a spot for the oxygen right on the back of the vent and that works perfect and that's where we have it attached normally. But just in case the little adapter piece were to ever break because it's just a little piece of plastic, this can actually connect, uh, the vent would be on one side and then his circuit would be on this side and there's a little port right here on the bottom that you could connect to your oxygen. So I keep this just in case as a backup if his little oxygen adapter ever broke. So moving on to the side pockets now both sides have like a triangular like bigger pocket and then a little square pocket so in the triangular pocket here i have a little pampers bag and in this pampers bag i put some creams um and i just put them in a bag just in case they ever opened so that they wouldn't leak inside the backpack so we've got a little lotion moisturizer cream right here I have his sunscreen right here and then just a little thing of diaper cream he hasn't really had a problem with diaper rash I do have bigger diaper creams too so this would be perfect if we were out and a diaper rash started um, and then if he was having an ongoing rash I would just put the bigger cream in the bag but it's not something I carry with us all the time because he doesn't really need it very often in this little square portion down here it's actually a nice like insulated style portion for bottles. What I have in here is just a little pre-mixed one of his formulas um, with a little nipple of course. Usually when we're leaving I'll make him a fresh bottle anyway but I like to just have like a little backup just in case of emergency and in that same pocket I always just have a little tub of food and his little baby spoon. Um, again I bring like his little like teething biscuits or little like puff crunchies or whatever as a snack when we leave but these are things that I just kind of keep a constant rotation in his bag just in case okay and then the next side of his backpack so something else I love about this diaper bag is that the square on the other side pocket has this window which is the perfect size for the wipes so you can just open the wipes and pull one out right from the side this is a brand new pack so I haven't opened it yet but you can actually just grab a wipe without having to take the package of wipes out which is really nice so in this side pocket it's just his little bag of wipes and then in the triangle portion are his extra diapers just a few diapers in there okay so that is the end of what's in my son's diaper slash emergency bag again if you're a new trick parent um i hope that this kind of helps alleviate a little bit of the stress that you're probably feeling right now thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye